Vegans are extreme. They're gay. They're picky. I'm really agitated. They're pushy. They're fucking assholes. And of course vegans are extreme. We're brought up with meat shoved under our faces from as young as we can remember. We're told that this meat is good for you and we're conditioned to think it's acceptable to kill animals just so we have something to eat. So anyone who breaks that normality is going to seem extreme. But picture this, say you were born and raised without meat in your diet and you know, you were in a field, you were stroking cows, you were taking in the wildlife and someone walked up with a bolt gun, blasted the cow in the head and said, I don't know, let's feed on this dead corpse here, shall we? What would seem more extreme to you? You know, that's the reason why when we look at footage inside slaughterhouses of these animals being killed and kept, we're disgusted and we can't watch it. We're not connected with what really happens to the animals which end up on our plate. But you know, vegans are picky really. Yeah, do you know what? We fucking are picky. We're picky for life to survive, for life to be left alone, to thrive, because it's fucking beautiful, let's be honest. Life isn't something to destroy and hate and confine and kill. So we're picky about it surviving. Compare that to a meat eater who might get terribly upset if they haven't got a slab of dead animal on their plate. They might think they're gonna die or something. Oh, the irony. Or they haven't got cow's milk over their dessert. Oh, it doesn't taste right. Now who's fucking picky? But you know, I'm being a bit pushy about this. But then, by eating meat, you're actually killing your own children. You're killing my children. You're putting them into an early grave. Eating meat and animal production is the biggest contributor to greenhouse emissions and to global warming we have. The methane produced by livestock is considerably more potent than any carbon dioxide. And there's also the fact that so much of our grain and plants and water are transported, grown and used to keep this meat fed rather than coming straight to us, which would be much more efficient, we'd eat far less, and we could probably solve world hunger just like that. Not to mention the environment which is being destroyed, or the forests which are being hacked down, just so we have more space to grow and breed these animals. But it's not just our children you're hurting. Time and time again it's been proven that a vegan diet is considerably healthier for you. Unless you believe those reports funded by the meat industry which try and nonsensically tell you that you need something like 5,000 kilograms of salad to get as much protein than you would from a steak. Well of course you would. Salad is not rich in protein. But there are many vegan foods which are rich in protein. You know, back in 2012 there was a study which proved that vegans have a 33% less chance of getting breast cancer than someone who eats a little meat in their diet. So how big a difference do you think it's going to be to someone who eats a lot of meat in their diet? It's not like there's a lack of food to pick from. I have never eaten better since I've been a vegan. There's so much vegan food which tastes fucking awesome. And let's be honest, most of the vegan alternatives, including the milk, taste a lot better when you get used to them. But you know, the animal industry doesn't want us to know that, so that's kept a bit on the quiet. It's not mainstream, so from a meat eater's perspective, that might seem hard to believe. So yeah, you know, vegans are pushy because it's fucking important, let's be honest. It's important for the welfare of the animals, it's important for our world, it's important for my children's health, it's important for your health. We do it because we care and we don't want to see anybody suffering, including the people who are eating the meat. You're hurting yourselves, you're hurting the animals, you're hurting everyone by continuing with this meat-eating lifestyle. You know, what I'd like to see in the future is a world where children are born into a world where their instincts correlate with their diet, you know, but killing is bad. And these children are fed a diet which is free of meat. And we don't even need a word for vegan because it is the standard. And then if we get to that place, we might have a few people who are still stuck in the old ways and they think it's acceptable to follow this unhealthy animal killing diet. And then we'll really see who the extreme, picky, pushy assholes really are. You know, I make these videos because vegans get a rough deal for trying to do their fucking best to make the world a better place. And it's only through having people like you that we can make this world a better place. So I make these videos so that you know that it's okay to be fucking pushy. It's okay to think yourself as being better. You're awesome for breaking from the exploitation of the world, the conditioning of the world, and realising we need to do something, and you're fucking doing it. So keep fucking doing what you're doing without any apology whatsoever. Because you are fucking awesome, my friend. Thanks for watching.